whistleblower claims that pilots who pursued UFOs got radiation burns. There's videos out there. There's one that's 23 minutes long. He recently quoted, told GQ magazine. There's another one where this thing is 50 feet away from the cockpit. A former intelligence officer describes the physical symptoms experienced by U.S. Navy pilots. Louis Elizondo, who was once the head of U.S. government secret, the Secretive Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program, ATIP for short, has had quite a lot to say about the subject in recent years, having long maintained that the government is in possession of exotic materials, quote unquote. He also claims to have seen several unreleased videos recorded by U.S. Navy pilots during their encounters with unidentified aerial phenomenon, UAPs, what we call UFOs, off the coast of the United States. There's videos out there. There's one that's 23 minutes long. He recently told GQ magazine, and there's another one where this thing is 50 feet away from the cockpit. During the interview, he also made comments implying that some of the pilots had experienced physical symptoms as a result of their proximity to the objects. He says, I've got to be careful. I can't speak too specifically, but one might imagine that you get a report from a pilot who says, Lou, it's really weird. I was flying and I got close to this thing and I came back home and it was like I got a sunburn. I was red for four days, he said. Well, that's a sign of radiation. That's not a sunburn. It's a radiation burn, Elizondo said. He also claimed that some of the pilots had experienced a warping of time, quote unquote. He said, the closer you get to one of these vehicles, the more you may begin to experience space time relative to the vehicle and to the environment. Now, exactly how much truth there is to these claims, however, remains unclear. This was from Unexplained Mysteries on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.